All right, and here is the Oculus Rift. And I'm just gonna give a quick video on how to set it up, what exactly comes with the Oculus Rift, what you'll need, which really isn't much, and just how to get started on uh, the Oculus Rift and what it takes to uh, get it running. First thing we're gonna do is download the software which they include in this nice little letter here. Um, they give a web link right there. I'll put a link in the description if you're looking for that for some reason. And I'll be back. All right. Now, before we get uh, to the uh, hardware here, hooking that up, let's uh, get some software going here. Now, if you follow the link in the description or in that letter, same link here, brings you to the... Um, website here oculus rift developer website and it's gonna I, i'm already registered but it's gonna ask you to register which is you know just your standard give them your email type thing set up a password and uh you know then it's gonna have to verify your password S simple stuff but once you get all that done go here and go to downloads and you're gonna look at some downloading right here now most of you are going to be looking for this Oculus SDK for Windows. There's also Linux and Mac, but uh, I'm going to guess 95% uh, of you are after the Windows. So this is what you want to download right here. This is the number one thing. Also, download this Unity 4 Pro integration. And if you also look up here, there's the Unity Tuscany demo, one for Windows, one for Mac, one for Linux. Just skip that. Um, there's actually a Unity, or there's actually a Tuscany demo in the Unity 4 Pro integration file that is better than this one right here. I'm not really sure why um, there's two separate versions, but skip this. Just download the this one right here and this one right here. So we're just going to click on them like this. It's going to ask you to save file. Just click OK. We'll go back here and download and another pop-up hit OK now I already downloaded these but uh, as you can see here if we go to our containing folder they're right here I'm just gonna grab highlight both of them like so hold on my shift key control X and then if I go in make a new folder here I see where do I want to put this here uh, in my games, now I already made a folder called Oculus Rift. So if you don't, I'm sure you guys know how to, if you have an Oculus Rift, I'm sure you know how to make a folder, but you just right click, make new folder, name it Oculus Rift, and paste it into here. Um, paste, and as you can see, I already extracted them. But then you want to right click on each one and click Extract All, and just put them in the same thing. So once you have it extracted all, you should have, a, have these two folders come up like this. And you're able to delete them. Yes. The zipped ones, not the other ones. Like so. <clears throat> so, now, before we go any farther, we're going to go back to the hardware and have it all hooked up. That way we got all our software downloaded, ready to rock. And I'll see you there. Alright, back to the hardware. Here we got the Oculus Rift development kit. Not the retail version, which is not out yet. Uh, I would, I'm, I'm going to guess at this rate... Uh, 2015 sometime um, you know kind of almost looks like uh, some snowboard or ski goggles and then uh, you know looks like a screen there's actually two there's actually two uh, eye lenses right there Let's see like that and now there's some adjust bunch of adjustments you can make on the sides here, you have two, like so, and these, uh, you can take a dime or something or a penny, some kind of coin, and turn these. And what this, what these do is move these sides in and out. So it moves this, basically it moves these, this eyeglass piece away from your eyes. Now, I kind of did a little experimenting, and I like them all the way as far as it goes out pretty much that's just my personal preference you might want to you know do your own thing it also comes with you know 
different um, eyeglass pieces. If we look here, we'll go under our nice Oculus Rift development case here. And, you know, here we got some piece eyeglass pieces. There's three different ones in total. It's kind of depending on your um, eye vision. You know, size A is, that I have installed right now is for, I have contacts in, so I have perfect vision with my contacts. And, but if you don't, you know, and they're kind of, there's some that you can use with glasses, but if you're farsighted or nearsighted, and that's what the, the other two sizes are for, one's for farsighted, one's for nearsighted, you can just simply swap it out. And what you do is, just to take these out, is you just grab it on the sides here, and you want to turn the left one counterclockwise. Get it out of here. You can see here, turn it counterclockwise. And it pops right out like that. And then you would put the new one in. And then on the right hand side, that side that when you would turn clockwise. Here you can kind of see what it looks like with the piece. I'm gonna put that one back this one back in because that's how I leave it. But you know, this too, if you wanted to clean that lens, which is mine's looking a little grubby actually. When I look at it. Alright, so, um, you know, we also have these straps that uh, can adjust to your head. You, know, you pull these out the uh, farthest it wants to go. I have, a, I have a pretty big noggin, actually. It doesn't look like I have a big noggin, but if, uh, if you've seen my, my head, I have to wear, like, a, if I'm wearing a ball cap or something, I need a big head, but, or I have a big head. But, uh, I don't straps to fit it. It fits fine. It's very comfortable. Alright, so... Also in the box here, we have the power adapter. Pretty self-explanatory. See, look at the end here. Comes like there, and now that hooks. Now, if you follow this Oculus Rift, it comes with a cord. Now, this thing is not wireless, which would be really awesome. I have no idea if the. I kind of doubt. I mean, we got. I kind of doubt something like this would be with just with the video running through it could ever be wireless. But uh, maybe someday. And a different version of the Oculus Rift, but uh, you know that uh, come. This is this Oculus Rift is just you know at least for the developer kit is permanently tied to this box. And as you can see here, we got a power button and then to adjust the brightness, adjust the contrast, and that AC power adapter button right there. That just simply plugs in right so. Simple enough. Um, what else do we got here? Now we got, um, we want to connect it to the computer. And we have one of two ways. Here we have an HDMI, DVI. And you know, you only want to use one. And the box actually comes with a HDMI cord. You can run right to your computer if you have an open HDMI or a DVI. Then it also has a DVI to HDMI adapter. So, you know, if you want, you can plug in the HDMI and then run it to DVI in your computer. Um, and then also, we have a mini USB plug in, which it also gives you the mini USB cord. And so, we want to run that to our computer. So, Here we got the HDMI cord, again included in the kit. And we're just going to plug that into there. Just like that. And again, we're going to leave that one, em this uh, DVI empty. And we also got, you know, two ends to this cord. We got the USB side and the mini USB side. And we're going to take the mini USB side and put it in here. Now, actually, when I first got this, I plugged the, uh, the HDMI into my computer. 
I got all excited because the thing turned on and then I couldn't uh, figure out how to get it to work properly because I got so excited I forgot to plug in this cord so don't make the same mistake I did. And then on the back of the computer, I'm sure you guys know this here, this isn't the, actually the computer I'm going to have it uh, hooked up to, this is a PC I'm uh, building for somebody but uh, you know, obviously in the back here we got um, a couple different slots, I'm going to, where are we here, you know, I would put my USB like so, get the idea, like that, and here I got the, here's the other end of the HDMI cord, and I just have it into the DVI slot here, and we would, you know, plug that in, or if you just wanted to go HDMI, like on this key, this, uh, uh, mother, or I'm sorry, graphics card, for example, only has the mini HDMI slot, so I would need a HDMI, mini HDMI adapter. So, like, you know, right here, I'm just gonna, here's the cord, you plug that in, you tighten the thing, pretty obvious. And after that, uh, you're ready to go, go live. You know, you want to hit the power button like so, and the next step would be setting up your monitor, and we'll go back to the uh, computer screen. All right, we got the Oculus Rift all hooked up to our computer. Um, power is plugged in. Power button on the box is turned on. Uh, USB is plugged in. Everything we got going on. And we're just back on our desktop here. And just want to, first thing we want to do is right click on the uh, desktop and go to screen resolution. And as you can see here, it shows that we got two displays. One's my Rift DK. My, it's my Oculus Rift, and the other would be my Asus uh, Asus monitor. And now, as you can see here, the uh, Rift has this is the resolution of the Rift, which is not the same resolution as my monitor. Now, if you read, they tell you to make sure it is this resolution. A lot of developers are recommending that you switch it to 1920 by 1080. So you might want to do a little experimenting. But the main thing to do here is where it says multiple displays. Right now, I think on default it's extend these displays. You just want to make sure it's duplicate these displays. Um, you're just going to have some... Uh, it's not going to work right unless you do this. Duplicate these displays. Click apply. And keep changes. Excellent. Now, as you can see here, it uh, changes back. You know, again, if you want to switch it back to the uh, 1280 by 800, you know, so, again, some games have better luck with it. Some that's what they recommend. I've been having luck with the 1920 by 1080. Um, if you have uh, thoughts on that, let me know in the comments. Anyway, click OK. And now we're going to go back to our files that we downloaded. Right up here. We got the Unity and the SDK. What you want to do is go in the SDK. Double click, double click, and you're looking for the Oculus Configuration Utility. Click on that, and here it is. Now, if you don't have something uh, hooked up correctly, you will. It'll say device not con connected, and that's probably something to do with your USB uh, cable. But uh, next, what you want to do is click Calibrate. Now. What's going on here is they're asking the calibration of the Oculus. And, you know, if you read the directions here, raise headset close to the head, click the start button, rotate the headset in all directions until the calibration bar is full. Now, the mistake most people make is they're actually moving the Oculus from left and right and moving it up and down. What you want to do is tilt it up and down, tilt it left and right. Don't move it on a horizontal or vertical plane. So... Hold it by your forehead, and again, it shouldn't leave your forehead because you're not moving it, you're just tilting it, and you're going to click start, and I'm just going to tilt it up, I'm going to tilt it down, I'm tilting it left, tilting it right, and until the green bar is full, simple as that, click save. And that's it for that. And there's different profiles you can set up here, but, uh, you know, again, I think this is you know, it doesn't have to be, you know, it seems to work great just uh, doing that. So, click close. We can go back to this um, Unity demo. And here's the demo screen. And what we want to do is just double click on that. This is the final test here. 
And we could change our graphics here. I kept mine at 1920 by 1080, so that's what I'm going to keep it in. There's only one uh, thing. And we're going to click play, and this is the, uh, you know, we'll see if we did it right. All right, and it worked. I know you guys can't tell uh, in YouTube land. To you guys, it looks like it's two uh, circles displaying the same image. To me, it looks like I'm standing right next to a house in a waterfall. I mean, it looks like I'm walking right up to this waterfall. It, it just, it looks like I could just dip my hands into that water. You know, I'm looking up. I'm just tilting my head up. I'm tilting my head down. I'm looking left through that doorway. I'm looking right. I mean, I can turn, you know, 360 degrees. You know, I would, uh, I would turn all the way, but uh, the cord, I'll well, wrap myself up in the cords, I guess. But, uh, you know, it, it's really amazing it's hard to put into words uh how uh how amazing this is um you know I'm, I'm just very very exciting technology now i know as i mentioned before there was that other uh tuscany demo you could download it's just it's the same thing just not as good of graphics um not as much detail there's also, uh, if you have a Razer Hydra, which is the motion control, some motion controls for the uh, PC, um, which I highly recommend getting if you have the Oculus Rift, by the way. Um, there's also a Tuscany demo that they released, um, and it's on Six Sense's website. I'll put a link in the description. And, uh, you know, similar to this, not quite as, same basic uh thing here it's got the same house it, there's just not much detail like it doesn't have those banners i know and some other stuff but uh what's different about that is it has a bunch of stuff to interact with like here I, you know it's nothing I, what i'm doing is just looking and that one you can basically use the razor hydra as extension of your hand so i could like say pick up those cushions and throw them in the fire and they'll start on fire i can you know move the chairs around or there's a basketball to uh mess around with just some neat stuff and, you know, I've, I've played a bunch of other games on this and, you know, some really interesting things on there. We, you know, everything from Team Fortress 2 to Half-Life 2 all works awesome on the Oculus Rift, works great with the uh, Razer Hydra. And I, I'm really excited for the, uh, the uh, small developers that are coming out with just some amazing stuff for this. You know, it's just... Uh, just some really, really interesting things, and you know, it's it's the future. It really is. I really believe in this product. Um, man, I I cannot wait to get the retail version of this. The uh, when it's actually released to the public, it'll be definitely something to behold. I mean, the the resolution, you know, on this now, it, it kind of looks like, uh, you know, from my perspective, almost like you're looking through a screen door. Um. But uh, once the retail version comes out, you know, it'll just, uh, it'll be that much better. So, you know, hopefully, man, look at this view. I, I know, I know you guys can't uh, see it, but uh, it looks amazing. And, uh, you know, I plan on uh, making some more Oculus Rift videos. So if you uh, like that information, please subscribe to my videos. Thanks for watching. Like, comment. If you got any questions, guys, just uh, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll, I'll try to answer any questions I could possibly, you know, answer and uh thanks for watching over notes uh i'm just gonna stay here and enjoy the view and you know i wish i had a a drink but uh all right talk to you later bye